are body weight only workout programs as effective as workout programs with equipment? Watch this. Our first caller is Ashley from Missouri. Hey, Ashley, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Um, first, I just want to say thank you so much for taking my call. I've been following you guys for a little over three years, and I recommend you to everyone I know. And I'm actually a licensed therapist, and I refer you to some of my clients. So Welcome. first, just want to say thank you. Um, so quick backstory. I bought the mom bundle that you guys offer um, when I was about seven months pregnant. I ran anabolic two times. I absolutely love it. I ran it eight weeks postpartum just to kind of like get back into movement and then around eight months postpartum um, and saw significant strength gains in all sorts of ways. I'm very excited to run it again. I also ran HIT. Um, I loved it. It was very different for me because as you guys have referenced, I for so many years did HIT the wrong way um, and doing it your way was hard for me at first, but I loved it. Um, my question is anywhere maps anywhere was also in that program in that bundle that I got. And I have kind of paused on ever running that because I have access to pretty much all of the equipment I could want in our home gym. Um, and I just didn't know if running a body weight program would be beneficial, um, because I've never run something like that before, or if I should run something different because I have access to everything and save anywhere for when I don't have access to all that stuff. So just kind of wanted your guys' guidance on that. Yeah, love that's, it, love that's, it. A, that's a good co question because a lot of people confuse equipment-free workouts uh, with it being like maybe a substitute, a cheap substitute for better workouts. In other words, it's like, you know, it's it's instant coffee. It's not it's not good, but it gets the job done type of deal. <laughs> that that's not actually that's not the case. In fact, when we created Maps Anywhere, now we knew that the way we would market it and the way that people would want to give it a shot was specifically around the fact that it could be done anywhere. It's if you travel, if you don't have access to equipment. But when we wrote the program, we said specifically, look, let's create a, a workout program that stands on its own. That's effective like uh, you know, programs that include equipment because what we're not okay. trying to do is just create a cheap substitute. Although it's used as a substitute, which is totally fine, it needs to stand on its own. And that's exactly what we did with Maps Anywhere. And just something interesting happened during the pandemic with Maps Anywhere in that lots of people bought the program and ran it because they were forced to try to work out without equipment. And the feedback we got was uh, extraordinary. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, this it's a great workout by itself. I had trainers contact us and say, this is one of the best programmed workouts I've ever done. So it totally stands on its own. And the way I would use it is I would run it uh, like you would run any program. So you do MAPS Anabolic, then you could do MAPS Anywhere, then you could do MAPS Performance. And it's just, it's different. It's totally different. Lots of closed chain exercises. There's uh, isometrics involved. There's uh, different movements you're not going to find in other programs. And so you're going to get other benefits from Maps Anywhere that you won't necessarily get from other programs. So my advice would be to uh, at least run it one time by itself. And then after that, I would use it as like a supplemental thing. I just And the reason why I would say that is because to kind of what Sal's point is uh, and something that you said, which is you've never done it. The fact that you've never trained that way, uh, the fact that it's novel, I think you're going to get some great gains from. It. I think you're going to you're going to see things that you probably didn't expect and um, and get some great benefits from it. Um, and then after that, like maybe you just because personally, I don't use anywhere that often uh, because I love I love traditional weight training. I love to pick up a barbell and dumbbells and do machines. Like I just enjoy that more than I do body weight stuff. But I do recognize there's tremendous benefit to doing body weight exercises. So the way I do it is when one, I'm either short on time or I'm short on equipment in a hotel, yada, yada, yada. So that's how I would use it in the future. But I do think there's tremendous value in just running it uh, one time to see how you feel. I, I think you would actually probably really enjoy it. It's and we 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 built it to where you could scale it yeah. as far as the I was intensity. Just mention that in terms of the intensifier. Yeah, we so added. Yeah, it can get really hard. So we did it. The idea was, you know, could we write something that you know all levels of fitness could get good benefits from it, even if I got an advanced lifter who's been lifting for a really long time, then all of a sudden they run anywhere. Could we write something that's body weight and band only and still give them great benefits? And the way we did that was by building in these uh, these intensifiers that you could do on the off days of your foundational days 
And that gives you as the consumer uh, the ability to scale it up if you want. Like if you feel like, oh, this is a little easy, then you can pick exercises that are way more difficult. So I think I think you'll find uh, you'll really enjoy it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And I, I had a feeling that's what you guys were going to say. I just kind of needed to hear it because, I mean, as all of you have referenced and, you know, some of you are you're all dads, but newer parents, you know, and I think it's just a mom. I've like really put on some strength after having our baby. And I'm just like that fear of like losing it all, but maps anywhere. I think it's shorter in terms of the other ones. It's only four weeks. So I think I have to get out of my head that like, you're not going to lose all of the strength that you got. And like you guys just said, it's totally different. So I'm hoping that I will see some benefit from yeah. it. So yeah, I appreciate strength, that. Yeah. in a lot of different directions with this too, it'll benefit the whole. So when you go back to like traditional weight training, you're going to notice, you know, some of those, those things that maybe you weren't stabilizing quite as effectively as yeah. you were, uh, you know, after that program. So there'll be a lot of unintended benefits you'll see. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, you know, strength is a skill too. So, if you stop barbell squatting and barbell deadlifting for four weeks, will your str will, will your strength go down on the specific exercises? Possibly because you're not mm -hmm. practicing the skill anymore, but that's okay because usually what happens when you train differently, and especially when you're addressing parts of the body or, or planes of movement you don't normally address, is you might dip a little bit and because of this lack of, of of practicing a specific skill, but then you get back real quick and then you surpass it. So you actually mm -hmm. start to break plateaus. So, you know, like I said, when when the pandemic started, we had all these people following maps anywhere that normally wouldn't follow a program like that just because it's equipment free. And the one of the top comments was, Oh my God, it's so effective. And many people now run it uh mm -hmm. on a, in a kind of intermittent basis, like every three mm -hmm. or four months. They'll throw it in there because they saw so many benefits. So I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, awesome. And then after that, would you recommend anabolic again because it again will be something different, or would you switch over to hit or something totally different after that? You, you can do anabolic again. Mass performance would be good too. Hit would be fine. I think any program uh, that's different would be totally fine afterwards. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Thank in. you guys. No Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. Yeah, when we, we knew that that would be one of our harder programs to sell. Totally. And, mm -hmm. you know, the irony is, of course, we had it, and it was the, the least popular program specifically because of what she's talking about. Yeah. The feedback was always amazing. Then the pandemic hit. Yeah. It became our top-selling program. Now you took program. away the gym. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, this is an option. It's a valid option, and then you go through it, and you realize, oh, wow, man, there's so much benefit to this, and I, I got all these strength gains in different directions. It That's is, the feedback it, we got. It's hard to believe that you could get great results like you can with equipment, without yeah. equipment, but you can so long as the program has to be is, planned out. Yes. Well, I think uh, what you said, too, is important that she, she goes in with the right mindset because what happens sometimes is people hear us say that then she goes back to anabolic and she goes to squat the first day and she's like oh shit i'm down 50 pounds from my previous it's like that's totally okay yeah, that happens what i would predict will happen is she'll see a, a little bit of a step back on the big movements like the squat the deadlift and overhead press but then by the end of anabolic or whatever program she runs i bet she hits prs yeah i bet she surpasses yep. she'll surpass where yeah. she currently is at right now and uh, and those benefits are going to be attributed from the work that she did in totally. anywhere Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.